The first step in the installation of the 3060-10SA dovetail tool holder is to install the lateral adjusting screw and T-bolts onto the slide. The dovetail tool holder is then placed on the slide. The shanks of the T-bolts fit through two holes in the holder body and the body is secured to the T-bolts with two hex nuts. It is very important that the tool holder fit flush to the top of the slide. Any chips or burrs present on the surface of the slide should be removed prior to holder installation. After tightening the nuts on the top of the holder, there should be some free movement or backlash of the lateral adjusting screw. This movement guarantees that the holder is contacting the surface of the slide and not the lateral adjusting screw. The dovetail is inserted into the dovetail ways of the tool holder. The two 834-A-12-10 cap screws, which secure the tool in the holder, should be snugged up against the tool. Do not tighten the cap screws at this time. The dovetail tool is supported from beneath by a 1 quarter 28 set screw which threads through the tool and abuts the base of the holder. The dovetail forming tool is set to center through the utilization of the tool setting gauge provided with each Davenport machine. The tool setting gauge is machined to the exact spindle center distance of the machine and must only be used on that machine. We begin with the tool below the tool setting gauge and raise the tool through the 1 quarter 28 set screw until the tool is level to the setting gauge. The 834-A-12-10 cap screws should now be tightened and the tool height rechecked. Care should be taken to remove the tool setting gauge before running the machine. A length of material should now be fed to the stock stop. Care should be taken that the form does not contact the bar until index is complete and the machine is in the working cycle. Lateral tool adjustments should now be made in accordance with the instructions in the operator training tapes. Advance the tool with the turnbuckle until the tool is approximately 10 thousandths from the bar when the machine is at the beginning of the work cycle. Machine a workpiece blank and gauge for diameter. To correct for taper, loosen the nuts on the tool post bolts and the locking screw on the top of the holder. Turn the taper adjusting screw on the side of the holder in the direction of the taper.
Retighten the locking screw and tool post nuts and make another piece to gauge the correction. Also, gauge the depth of the center drill. Adjustments to drill depth are made with the turnbuckle associated with that position. Adjustment of the turnbuckle in no way affects the length of material being fed out.